Hello, welcome to Be My Guest, and I'm Son Chun Lim Green Guy. Today we are at TDRI, who recently have made changes to their working space by using a Thai startup company called Paperspace to help them achieve this change. What is this change about and the concept behind it? Let's find out more with our guests today. In today's episode, we are joined by two guests. One of our guests is Dr. Duen Den Nikom Barirak, Research Director of Economic Governance, TDRI. And our other guest is Mr. Sombat Ngam Chalum Sak, Co-Founder of Paperspace. Sawadee Thank you for joining us today. First of all, let me ask you, since you're the co-founder of Paperspace, to explain to us what Paperspace is. Sure. So uh, I'm the interior designer in, in Trend, so I've been in this business for uh, 20 years. And recently, I, I, I think I, I want to share the way people do business in the design industry uh, by transforming ourselves into a platform. Okay. So we create infrastructure for uh, design entrepreneur to run business on us. So that's what we do at the moment. I see. So is paper space, you know, design spaces for only companies in Thailand or also outside no, Thailand? No, we, we are operating in three major cities as a domain, uh, Bangkok. Manila and Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we are working with a uh, client across the borders, including Facebook and Google at the moment. I see. So can you elaborate about your ideas and concepts of, sure. of your company here? The idea is, you know, people change from, um, they said that it's, it become we in that uh, economy now. So people start sharing, collaborating. Mm -hmm. So it's, it rely on individuals people at the moment. Mm -hmm. So the model is we, we want to uh, attract those talent in the market, combine them together and mm -hmm. create a, kind of like a platform for them to work together as a big group rather than like a single one. Mm. I see like a traditional working space. Yeah, exactly. You rather have a group of people working exactly. together. So we have the consultants ranging from change management, work, workplace strategy, designer, engineer working with us at the moment. I see. So this would contribute to the new economy. Yeah, exactly. So, so many people, many of our viewers, might not be familiar with new economy. So, yeah. so can, can you explain to us what new economy is? Yeah. From my part of view, the new economy is you know, uh, people change the way they live. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning and then you use like, a lot of things that you never used in the past. I you see. rely on this like, mobile. True. You book or your uh, transportation via applications. Mm -hmm. You order food. So those kind of things is, is happen at the moment, and mm -hmm. people change, and mm -hmm. the company has to be changed based on on that. You know, uh, I economic. See. I see. So now let's talk about TDRI. So how this collaboration between Paperspace happened? Well, the collaboration is basically we are looking for a change in mm -hmm. our image mm -hmm. <laughs> and also the usage of our space at our um, office which is about 30 years old and has never been changed. Okay. So um, we were looking for somebody who can renovate and change the entire image of our, our office space. And so I think we came to a meeting here at TCDC mm -hmm. where um, designers such as Paper Space would, would meet with potential um, customers and that's I where see. we met. I see. So why paper space though? It's a little bit difficult to choose which designer for us because we are a research institution, yes. which is rather uncommon. And I don't think paper space Definitely. actually has <laughs> clients unique as us. We're of not course. business. Yes. We're not foundation. We're in the middle, yeah. you know, semi, semi-academic, semi-business a little bit. So um, our needs are very specific. We have a lot of researchers who mm -hmm. need to concentrate when they work. Yes, but definitely. at the same time, they need to interact to be able to exchange ideas and develop new ones. Mm -hmm. So we have very specific needs. And so we looked at uh, many potential designer, and most of them would design for businesses. Mm -hmm. Didn't fit our need exactly, but then we met space, paper space. We have um, pictures of their past work, mm -hmm. and we thought that fit very well with what we were looking for. So that is how it happened, basically. That's correct. Meeting here at TCDC I and see. then also discussing later on and to see whether when we communicate what kind of image, what kind of usage we would like. Um, Paper Space was able to respond. That, mm. that means they understand our needs. I see, I see. So since you know, she mentioned that 
TDRI is in between everything, business mm -hmm. and also academic here. Yep. Is it a tough job for you to, to create a space? Not really. Actually, our client has is very varies from education, mm -hmm. FNC to mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. Yes. So each client has their own specific needs. So what, what we normally do is uh, we try to understand the, the, the uh, deep needs that they want. I see. Different client mm -hmm. has th their different needs. Yes. So for, for TDRI, like, like uh, Dr. didn't mention, they are researchers, so they need time to focus. At the same time, they need time to collaborate. So that mm -hmm. is kind of like a, uh, the big mm -hmm. takeaway from us, the objective that we, we try and form that space to serve these mm -hmm. two functions in I see. balance. I see. So what did you take into consideration before designing TDRI? First, we observed mm -hmm. what they work, how, mm -hmm. how do they work at the moment, and come somehow we, we benchmark to the new whatever is happening in the world. Yeah. So we try to, to bring that uh, productivity into the, the new way of working. I see. Yeah. So you try to put something new as well into what they're yeah, already Because we're have. working with Google and Facebook and we, we know mm -hmm. what's going on in the world. I so see. we pick what suit to each client to, mm -hmm. to you know, work with them. I yeah. see, I see. So now back to TDRI. Since you, know, you, you mentioned earlier that the space hasn't been you know, renovated or changed for 30 That's years. That's correct. So what did you expect from making this change? We first is that the, the way it was designed 30 years ago was to cater to researchers that you imagine professors in university, mm -hmm. you know. Very traditional. Yes, way. with lots of books, lots of paper. Mm -hmm. But then we find that we need to attract new blood into our research. Mm -hmm. And the generation X, generation, sorry, generation Y, generation Z, they don't like to work with papers, you know, it's a paperless world. Yes. So when they come in and then we do have interview with those who leave or those who apply, mm -hmm. see what, what is it that does TDI meet their expectations in several ways? And one of the resp uh, um, response we had was that TDI seems very modern because mm -hmm. we have a very modern website. We have very modern infographics presentation when mm -hmm. we appear in a public but they said they're somewhat disappointed when they actually come and visit us. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a different world. It seems so traditional and archaic. I so see. we realized that if we want to attract new researchers, um, then we really need to change the image of, of our, our, our building. And I that's see. what we required. I see. So, so can you tell us a bit of the highlights mm -hmm. of the changes that have been made here? The highlights is that we got rid of all the papers. Okay. I think about several tons. That's a lot. <laughs> we, we made a rule that mm. so uh, you know people have only so much space to keep their their books. Mm -hmm. You know, professors like to keep all the stuff. Of course. So now the new design is that very open space. Now we can see through from one corner of the building to the very end. Before oh, there were okay. a lot of corners, a lot of dark spots. I see. And and because of that, people would split into different enclaves, and they would eat and chat and work <laughs> in that enclave. I see. But now it's open. So if you eat, if you talk, if you sleep, everybody can see you. Okay. So it becomes more professional is that this is a workspace. Mm -hmm. But then we have space for you to eat, very nice cafe upstairs. Mm -hmm. We have place for you to exercise, so we have place to chat. So now I feel that activities are becoming more organized in, you know, partitioned into different space rather than everything because we used mm. to have cubicles. Ah, so everybody used to hide behind cubicles and do everything there. So I, I think see. this was a big change. I see. So everything is designated. Designated, basically. yes, properly. I you know, see. food <laughs> from talk, from discussion. And yeah. we noticed that a lot of our researchers in the past would go to Starbucks. Mm. You know, we have an office, but they work in Starbucks. Yeah. So I say, why? I say, oh, because we have nice space, office, you know, relaxed environment. Mm -hmm. So we created space similar to Starbucks on okay. our fifth floor so that they don't have to go out. I and see. we have very good coffee too. I yeah. see. Well, we'll take a quick break here and when we come back, we'll talk more. Okay. Welcome back to the program. We are still here with Mr. Sobat and Azan Dunden. Welcome back to the program. So we already talked about the overview of TDRI and, and your company. And you mentioned earlier that you worked for Google before. So can you tell us about that experience? Sure. 
So we we had been um, designed two offices for Google in Manila and Jakarta, mm -hmm. and we start doing the third one now. Okay. So each of them is about like sixteen thousand, which is a huge like Very size of workplace. So uh, talking about Google, mm. uh, if you decide Google Office, you need to read the Bible, the Google Bible, the Google There's Bible. There's a Bible. Yeah, it's mm. the Bible for okay. designers to read, mm -hmm. and you have to kind of like, um, understand them very deeply. And one important thing that I, I took from that that book is that they just say that idea ends always happen on the desk. So mm -hmm. that's a very key takeaway. So you notice that you Google Google Office in the website, mm -hmm. you will see a different kind of you know uh, office design which is not the same. I've heard as well that, that yeah. Google actually have a very unique working yeah. space. So the rule is you can't do the same thing with the previous office. So if you design a new office, it has to be totally new concept, new design. Because they believe that if people live and work in that environment, they will mm -hmm. come up with something new. And I, I think apart from the workplace, the way they work is, is very interesting. Mm -hmm. They have the rule of 10%. Um, they allow their workers to do whatever they want to do in 10% of their mm -hmm. work hours that, that they can key in, which is not related wow. to their work job. So anything, anything they want to they do. Anything they want. And if something kind of like has potential to grow, they will take that seriously and grow up. And Gmail is one of that. Uh -huh. Gmail is a sideline of one engineer working mm -hmm. in, in you know different field. It's but they, they come up with this. Yeah. I so see. It's very interesting the way, the way they, and you see like, um, in Google, they have breakout, canteen, cafe, espresso, mm -hmm. yeah. spa, even wow. you know, the pet shop. Pet yeah. shop. Pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> Campus has I everything. See. Yeah. I see. So was it challenging for you to take up this job? Especially when you mentioned that you already done three, right? Yeah. Uh, and each, yeah, yeah. each one has to be a new concept. Yeah. So is it challenging for this you? This is very challenging, yeah. I see. Yeah, to, but it's, kind of, it's quite fun to, to generate something. You know, Whereby Facebook is the other way around. Mm. Facebook, you have to follow the rule like, exactly. Mm. The size of the room is has to be that square meters. You can't even okay. change it like in so millimeters. So buy the book. Buy the book. Yeah. I so see. you you know you will realize that these these two giants are different, mm. and we we learn a lot from them in different way. I see. And we apply that know-how to our client here. I as see. Well. I see. So talking about that, it sounds mm -hmm. like TDRI now has a very perfect space, like very new, very mm -hmm. unique, yes, and of course mm -hmm. can be, let's say, one of a kind in Thailand right now. Mm -hmm. So what has been the feedback so far? The feedback, I think um, researchers, especially the younger generation, mm -hmm. I think they, they are much more, um, they are happier in a happier environment. Mm -hmm. And I have heard from those that have resigned and left and said, oh, I should just, you know, return. <laughs> reapply. <laughs> reapply for a new position because we have a very completely new look now and they're mm -hmm. very happy. So I think the response has been uh, very positive. Mm -hmm. And we also not only, I think when we did the renovation, mm -hmm. it's not only to attract um, qualified researchers, but also the project of our image to outsiders. I, see. I think this is very important. Mm -hmm. When we have visitors from outside, TDI gets a lot of visitors from the embassies, even from senators from the United States, they visit us and government officials, big companies. So I think if we want to project that TDRI is uh, you know, a, a, you know, the frontline um, research institute, we need to project that image too. I see. So I think um, it's after we have the renovation, we are happy, we feel confident when we invite people, please come to TDRI before. I you know, see. We, we weren't too confident you know, yeah. about that. So I think this is, has been a very positive change. I see. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier that, you know, the younger researchers were mm -hmm. happy. What about the older generation? How did they adapt to this change? Um, we had a little bit, as I'm sure we'll every place will face certain resistance. Yes. Um, because those who are as custom to the old environment mm. and they don't want to change. Yes. But I think it was, uh, luckily, we, we closed our building down for six months. Okay. Before we said we, we're not going to close, we're just switching from different floors. But mm -hmm. in the end, we decided that it would take 
too long if we do that. Mm -hmm. And the noise and the smell of paint it just wouldn't work. Yes. So we decided to close the office down six months and we, hired, uh, we rented the next place next to TDI. Okay. Because of that six months, it was very useful because people are detached uh, from okay. their space. <laughs> okay. You know, Such a strategy. It's, it really helps. Because if, if you let them there, sit there, and then suddenly, you know, you take away the room, True. you change, they feel very attached. But now, nobody had proper space for six months. We were, we were in a very small townhouse for six uh -huh. months. So everybody, you know, eventually just melted away this kind I of possessiveness see. and attachment. So it was much better after I that. I see. Yeah. So now, talking about working habits, mm -hmm. do you think it is related, the working environment and the working habits of the people in it? Yes, I think the environment really affects the productivity of our workers. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that many places may not think that way, and yeah. they think, you know, they just want to cut costs. But productivity, I think it's very important that our staff, our employee works in an environment where they can perform their function properly, they mm -hmm. can concentrate when they need to concentrate, they can relax when they want to relax. They can um, talk to their peers mm -hmm. when they need to talk. So they, they have many kind of um, um, environment that they need in the workplace. I see. So I think that that's very important. I um, see. Should not, any management should not overlook the importance of the working environment f uh, for the productivity of their employees. I see. So now going back to paper space a little bit. People who have traditional companies, let's say, which is very business oriented, is not like TDRI, it's not like Google. Do you think paper space can create something that is a bit different than a cubicle, than an, an office room, can to you know, enhance the working ability of their, their workers? Sure. I think all, all the business has potential to do that. Mm -hmm. it's only, like, like we mm -hmm. discussed, it's only the, the leadership mindset. True. If he, they see that thing, I think we we are able to convert any you know space into like Google type of, of space for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. So it's all about the mindset. It's all about the mindset. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I see. Space doesn't really has constraint at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, we'll take a quick break again here, and when we come back, we'll talk more. Sure. Welcome back to the program. So now we've entered our third and last break here. So we already talked about the changes that have been made. And of course, once you have a changing environment in a working space, the management also needs a bit of a change as well. So how has TDRI changed its management system here? I think the renovation of TDRI is just more than just an infrastructure change. Mm -hmm. It also signals a change in, I would say, decentralization I of see. the management uh, of our institute in that um, because now we have the infrastructure, meaning we have meeting rooms, we have town halls, we have coffee shops. So now we encourage um, our junior level uh, of employees, our researcher, new young researchers, to initiate their own um, ideas about mm. it, what we mo want to promote is learning organization. And there are many ways in which you can learn. You can learn from your peers, you can learn from your seniors in your office, or you can learn from outsiders. So now we have many um, activities after um, we opened uh, our building. Now we have invited uh, well-known speakers, mm -hmm. authors of interesting books to give talks in our town hall. And we also ask our researchers to initiate their own activities. What do they want to want? They want to have a book club, they want to mm. exchange ideas, they want to share what they're researching or discuss key public policy issues. I so I think because we have provided infrastructure, we have provided an environment, so now we hope that our employees, our researcher, will make use um, to build um, TDRI as a learning organization, which we talk about the new economy new I economy see. focus on innovation and new ideas. Mm. So now we have the proper infrastructure to facilitate that learning organization. I yeah. see. So, so now talking about Thailand a little bit, 
mostly the companies and offices or organizations are working in a traditional office space, which they're not so fortunate to have, like, you know, a space like TDRI. So according to your experiences where you work with international companies, how do you think Thailand can use some of that ideas or their concepts to improve their working environment? Sure. This a new trend that happening in, in the world now called activity-based workplace, mm -hmm. AWB, uh, is, is kind of like uh, the workplace that serves the activities, not the role. Mm -hmm. Means there, there's a space for you to work, to focus, to meet, to learn, to social, mm -hmm. but that kind of serves the activities. So you don't, you don't have your own uh, dedicated desk. I see. With, with that, you, you, you can play with the space that you have in different ways Mm -hmm. And somehow you, you can occupy more people into that space as well. I see. Yeah. True, though, because you know the real estate sector here, the prices of yeah, land and space up, is yeah. you know rising. So in order to have like you know an open space and people can just you yeah. know choose where they want and come whenever they want yeah. is is a great way yeah. indeed. And the research said that actually seventy percent of like people stay on the desk. Thirty yeah. percent is out True. most of the time. I see. Yeah. So can you explain to us a little bit more about the activity-based workplace? What, yeah. what is this idea? What is it? Is it? The idea is if you have limited space, mm -hmm. the space should serve the real activities, not mm -hmm. the role. Okay. So in Airbnb, let's say, we, we did uh, 400 square meters uh, office for Airbnb in Beijing. Mm -hmm. So they have space to work, to conference call, mm -hmm. to, uh, to do training. Mm -hmm. So those are within our uh, is 400 square meters, but they, they can serve 50 people, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. So people come in the morning, I mean, we staff, they put their stuff in the lockers, mm -hmm. and they choose the activity that they want on that moment, whether they I want see. to sit on a desk to send emails, or they go for a phone booth to do a conference call, and they mm -hmm. go back, or they I change. See. So it's, it's kind of very fluid. Activities happen in one single space. I see. Which, you know, to be honest, space you feel like you utilize the most out of of that space yeah. especially when you have limited space exactly. as well i yeah. see so so now back to tdri since you have all these changes mm -hmm. are you content with the change already are you planning any future changes i think we just uh, open our office maybe one month okay. so we have to now just learn learn you know about the new environment mm -hmm. Um, future changes, we're talking about activity-based, mm. and um, I think this has to be gradual because of I think course. It's, it's a big change for somebody who used to have a table and suddenly they don't have a table. Oh they yeah. used to have a picture of my family exactly. here, exactly. and I have my little own world, and exactly. suddenly I don't. So I think we have to feel that out, but I think with this innovation, we're gradually moving towards that mm. direction because we're downsizing personal space yes. with the new innovation. We have lockers, as mentioned. Mm -hmm. So now um, your stuff can, you know, part of it can be in a locker, which okay. means you don't, you don't have to pile everything on your table. Mm -hmm. So I think this is sort of like a slow, gradual move towards mm -hmm. becoming activity-based. I think whether we can handle activity-based or not, it depends on the working habit of the new generation. Yes, and I can already see that they are not so attached to their tables or their private space not. as much as do the older generations yes. because for example we have the option mm. of for our new uh, new new researchers whether they want a PC or they want a laptop so none of them want PC now even though they have a signed table ah. they said I prefer a laptop yeah so that that that's a big change mm -hmm. because if you s ask the same question maybe Five years ago, everybody wants a PC yes. on the top. Of course. So, and also, I noticed that many of my researchers are no longer at their table. I don't know where they are because <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're yeah. on the fifth floor somewhere. Uh -huh. So I, I'm beginning to see that the new habit of working that may, in the future, mm -hmm. can become activity-based, as Kun Sombat said. I see. Yeah. So now back to paper space here. What are your future projects? Is there anything up and coming that you're working on? Yeah. Um, um, we are expanding to India this okay. year, so we already have the partner to mm. um, to expand our business to India. India is a huge market. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I think we will have four countries representative mm. at the moment, mm -hmm. <coughs> and I think the number of like people who are working with us is going to be increasing this year, of course. including the projects. 
I yeah. see. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us your information and knowledge. ขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณมากสวัสดีค่ะ Workplace transformation is an emerging trend that tries to enhance the mentality and working habits of the workforce. TDRI manages to understand this concept and has tried to put this concept into their working environment, hoping to enhance their workforce. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ